This is Chase Pipes. I'm here with Arrowheads.com and Smoky Mountain Relic Room, and this is Chasing History. On our adventure out west, I came across Jefferson's River and looked around and said, Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm in Lewis and Clark country, and I had to share this experience with you guys. Not only that, but the history of this place. Because where we are, where we're standing, this, literally right here, is where is where Mayweather Lewis was at this spot on this river. In 1803, Thomas Jefferson purchased the Louisiana Territory, in a, in a sense doubling the size of the United States, literally and famously is quoted with one stroke of his pen. But he didn't know what he purchased, so he amassed the Lewis and Clark Expedition, which is an idea of exploring this country that literally goes back to the days of the Revolutionary War. Lewis, Lu, Mayweather Lewis, who was Jefferson's personal secretary, was tasked with organizing this enterprise, and he and his friend and co-commander William Clark would comprise would comprise the only joint military operation in the United States military history. They would share command, a co-captaincy, to explore this vast territory. But what's amazing about this expedition, uh, and it, particularly this area where we're at, this spot, is what. Mayweather Lewis discovered. What he discovered was a death, a death to an idea, a dream that literally goes back to Christopher Columbus. Since the days of Columbus, men have been searching for a passage to the Orient, a way to get across the, the vast oceans. When Columbus came, he struck islands. Uh, Amerigo Vespucci, after him, discovered what we now today term as America. Um, and, and that there was a continent between it. Then came the search for a passageway through the continent. There was always belief that there could be a passageway through it. So that dream died with Lewis. As Lewis ascended the, the, the Missouri, the idea was that at the headwaters of the Missouri, of this river, of this river was a very short portage over the mountains down to the headwaters of another major stream. That stream could be ascended and, and that river could be followed all the way to the Pacific and from there to the trading markets of the Orient of, with China and with Japan, which is what uh, the, not only Europe but the United States desperately wanted. So on this river, where we're at now, Mayweather Lewis ascended. This is the headwaters of the, of the mighty Missouri River that stretch all the way down from Missouri all the way through the Dakotas, all the way into the Mississippi River say above St. Louis. He came up this river, him and his fellows with the canoe. The rivers then divided into smaller creeks, smaller tributaries. As those tributaries divided into teeny tiny streams, Lewis ascended the furthest stream up, which is on private property, a not too far distance, just a few miles from where we're at. At the top of this stream, Lewis stopped and paused and he, as he gazed at the, at the spring. He looked at the spring and he put one foot on one side and the other foot on the other. And he said, I have now stride the, the mighty Missouri River. He took his hand and he cupped water and he poured it into his mouth and he drank of the source of the Missouri River. And he drank of that source and he looked up and gazed at the mountains beyond. And he looked at these jagged peaks, mountains that have ice and snow on them year round. He knew that these were no Appalachian Mountains, that Jefferson's dream, that 300 years of dream of a portage across the continent to the Orient had died with, within sight of his eyes. Can you imagine 1805 in this country with the whole dreams of continent behind you and you come to this spot, see these mountains and know that there is no way that anybody is portaging anything over them. The dream of a Northwest Passage died there. But American history did not. Neither did the Lewis and Clark expedition. May the weather Lewis and William Clark continued into Idaho and then into, and then into uh, Washington State and into Oregon and explored that country all the way to the Pacific. Upon reaching the Pacific, they turned around and made the trip all the way back to St. Louis and back to the United States, completing, without a doubt, the most incredible uh, adventure in American history, exploring undiscovered country. They thought that mammoths still roamed in these plains. Instead, they found herds of millions of buffalo, a species nearly brought to the brink of extinction nearly 100 years ago. And all that history happened right here, right where we're at. Thank you guys for, for watching. Remember, 
you know, I can never remember my motto. <laughs> remember, make the world a better place just one person at a time. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. Just be good people. And how do you know where you're going? Unless you know where you've been. It's studying and understanding the mistakes of the past that prevent the failures of the future. My name is Chase Pipes. This is Chasing History. History rocks. Woohoo! Isaac, can you give me a woohoo? Woohoo! Oh, come on, I'm more excited than that. Go woohoo! Woo All right. Wait, Thanks, I, buddy. Wait, also, let's do like in a little in video of the water flowing in the mountains. All right. That's my words from my cameraman. We're going to do a quick pan of the water, the river, and of the mountains. This is Medweather Lewis country. Thanks for watching.